Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, I'm going to show you the complete Power BI learning path. So from where you have to start and how you have to proceed, by the end of this particular learning path, by the end of this particular course, you will be you will become a data analyst. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm I'll be teaching this complete um, modules in the upcoming videos. Anyhow, if you're going to learn it, so you can see like what are the things you have to cover okay so the very first thing is i have segregated this into mo module level okay the first module is what uh, the very basic models okay that is you should know what is business intelligence because power bi is basically a business intelligence tool you should know what is business intelligence how it is useful what are the various tools available and why we are choosing power bi so that is the very first thing you should know and you have to download and install power bi desktop in order to work with it which is a free to use okay and then i'll be taking you through the power bi uh, desktop like uh, what are the uh, menus which are available what are the tabs which we have and what are the essential thing which we know so by the end of module one you will be uh, you will know the basics of business intelligence basics of power bi the second one is the module two okay so in module two you will be learning about uh, how to import a data from various data sources i'll be telling you like what are the data sources which are available what are the data sources which are uh, supported by power bi and we'll be learning about the complete uh, data set like which data we'll be learn we'll be using throughout okay so we'll be understanding what is the data and how exactly power bi is used for etl process etl is extract transform and load so how power bi is useful for that and how we can do it through power query editor and ai in power query editor that is artificial intelligence in power query editor so these things we will learn in module 2 so the module 2 is basically about collecting the data and transforming the data that is etl process so the third module is about completely about visualization where we'll be learning about power bi um, uh, that is uh, what is the introduction to visualization what type of uh, charts you have to use for what type of data so you cannot use all the charts for every data okay so you have to specifically understand what type of visualization you have to showcase and what are the custom visuals which are supported by power bi what are the ai visuals which are available in power bi and rls that is row level security so this we'll be dealing in module 3 okay and if you go to module 4 you can see something like uh, this is module 4 okay so here you can see that uh, this is uh, this is introduction to dax okay so uh, this is uh, we'll be understanding about what is dax why we need dax in power bi what is the purpose of dax okay that is what are the essential dax which everyone should know okay so uh, this we'll be learning in power bi uh, using the dax those so dax is basically data analysis expression so what are the basic dax which are uh, really essential for us and uh, intermediate level dax okay and in module 5 we'll be talking about introduction to power bi services so what is power bi services what are the power bi services we have that is what is this, uh, how we can use the power bi services okay and <clears throat> how we'll be publishing the reports in our services from power bi desktop so we'll be designing all the visualization in the desktop and how we are going to publish it in the services also we will look something more in services and finally in module 6 we'll be building a better dashboard like how to design a better dashboard page level dashboard um everything okay and also uh, the projects we'll be learning about the project so you may have some doubt like there are various other concepts like filtering slicing so that comes in the visualization itself okay in module 3 itself we'll be understanding um uh, the slicers filters drill down drill up everything okay completely in the module 3 itself so this is what uh, the complete power bi course which i have planned and uh, another one more important thing is like in every video 
okay you will be i'll be giving you some exercise for you so you have to try it by yourself that is a one and uh, uh, this is not like only this much videos i'll be posting because uh, you know that in import uh, various data sources this may come up to two to three videos that is part one part two and part three so extract transform and load there will be multiple menus we have to understand so that will be coming under a different part okay so i'll not be covering the complete detail in a single video so it will be a ma micro videos okay like 10 minutes 10 minutes of videos will be there so you can understand it better okay and in between i'll be giving you for every every videos i'll be giving you exercises <clears throat> at the end of every video i'll be giving you exercises you can try that if you are getting any doubts you can leave that in the comment i'll be helping you out so this is how this complete course is uh, structured almost it covers all the topics uh, which are included in pl300 which is uh, power microsoft certified data analyst associate so once you complete this course you can write the exam directly uh, this is how uh, all these are structured accordingly okay so if you have any queries uh, please leave that in the comment i'm very excited uh, to start this course we will uh, uh, we will discuss more about everything about the power bi in our upcoming videos thank you take care bye bye